There's a very popular concept that ruins your ability to improve your strength. And I don't know about you, but I don't fight for that extra rep for no benefit whatsoever. So with this video, I want to steer you away from techniques which inhibit your potential and provide you with a solution to help maximize your strength gains in whatever way you're choosing to train. So let's cut straight to the chase. What is this thing that is ruining your strength gains? Passive stretching, before your workout. And that's the kind of stretching that most of us think about when we stereotypically think of a stretch. Somewhere where you either pull, push, or lean your body into a stretch. Some clever folk from a university in Croatia carried out a meta-analysis, essentially looking at a ton of studies that were carried out over time and looking at what the overall conclusion of all of them came to. And passive stretching before a workout has been shown time and time and again to limit your performance in terms of strength, power and explosiveness. It'll cause you to be able to shift less weight, to jump less high and to run less fast. Because simply put, passive stretching is encouraging the muscles to relax, which is quite the opposite of what they need to be doing when it comes to improving strength. So what's the solution? What should you do to prepare better for a workout? Stretching before a workout was once thought as beneficial as it improves your range of motion, it helps you move more freely, as well as reduces the risk of injury. And these concepts aren't bad at all, right? So the perfect solution allows us to keep all of these benefits and prime our muscles for better strength gains. And that solution is dynamic active stretching. Dynamic active stretching is a fancy way of saying moving stretch stretches that engage the muscles as they stretch. And these are primarily what we see described as, as mobility movements. These kind of movements help awaken the muscles of the body instead of relaxing them. Gets more muscle fibers firing, gets the mind to muscle connection kickstarted, whilst also improving range of motion, ease of movement, and reducing risk of injury. So let me share my three favorite dynamic stretches to start your workout with. Firstly, instead of taking a passive hamstring stretch, an alternate dynamic active stretch would be straddle reaches. Take your feet quite wide, then press your hips back as you reach your torso forwards, keeping your back nice and straight as you do so. It's your hamstrings that have to pull the body back up to stand, but they're also the muscle that are being stretched. Around 10 repetitions is sufficient. Second, instead of taking a passive glute stretch for the hips, a dynamic active stretch of the hips would be Cossack squats. Keep your chest up, push your bum back whilst pressing your knee wide, sitting as low as your flexibility allows. Your glutes are stretching on the descent and engaging to push you back up. Take around eight each side. See if you can increase your range of motion, sinking a little deeper as you go. And lastly, instead of taking a passive twist for the lower back and chest, take a set of eight threading needles, twisting the body up towards the sky before reaching through underneath the arm. Passive stretching isn't the enemy. It's a great method for improving flexibility. Just save it for after your workout. But do you wanna know the exception to the rule? Go and check out this video next for a special kind of stretch that gives you instant flexibility results, which you can do at any time that you like.